creating forms for confluence with confi forms. So you start by adding the definition macro for your form. And we call it, you give it a name, we call it bookshelf here. We can give it a title. And the rest could be defaults for now. And we start to add new fields. This is done by adding the field definitions. Let's start the title. It's going to be a text field, so the default is is okay. Yeah, we probably want to make it a required field. So we go and add uh, another field. Definition. It's going to be a introduction. Let's make it text area. And let's add uh, another field to to store a book cover. It's going to be a file. We just stick with defaults, but you can really restrict to certain file types if you want and uh, that's it basically we have a form with three fields now we need a way a way to show it registrations control the form view so we reference the same form and we want to show our form as embedded to the page and that's it. You have a form, bookshelf form, three fields. And you can start adding your data. Let's do it like this. And save it. And the data is saved. There is a admin UI. You can quickly look for the data, but you can also create your own views by adding a table view, for example. If we just don't define any 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 fields here, it's going to be a default layout. But let's uh, let's do it like this. We we just show the uh, book titles. So we're gonna show only one field. And here it is. The same data could be shown in a different format, for example, in a card view. So we reference the form. We can skip this because our form is on the same page. If you are building your views on a different page, then you need to tell uh, what form to use and where is it located. So in here we can show only pictures. Picture. The field name is the same as we have defined in the field definition. We can have multiple fields obviously let's 
So you can see this is the table view, this is the cart view, and they both show the same data. And that's it. This is this is how you create simple forms with config forms.